Hey everyone, this is David Tappan at CDH and I am here for another 5-Minute Friday just to give you a little tip on what's new in SharePoint. Actually, I think we'll get rid of that. But um, anyway, uh, just to give you a little uh, tip about SharePoint Server 2019. So SharePoint Server 2019 has come out um, and um, there are some changes and new features. And you know, a lot of people are focused on the cloud, but there are a lot of organizations that are still using on-prem. And the good news about SharePoint Server 2019 is that it is a feature match for SharePoint Online as of January 1st, 2018. Um, and so there's a lot, you've got modern sites and uh, a lot of other features, modern libraries that uh, people have been really waiting for on premises and they're here now. So uh, what I want to focus on today is just a little bit of a change that's occurred. Uh, let me see if I can hide that. There we go. Um, a little bit of a change that's occurred with self-service site creation. So um, in on-premises SharePoint, you've always had the ability to allow users to create their own sites and um, the process for doing that has changed slightly and the features that are available for how you can do it have changed somewhat. And so I wanted to kind of show you what's happened. So um, if we take a back a look at SharePoint 2016 or 2019, sorry, Cherry 2016 or earlier, self-service site creation, uh, you, had, you had separate settings for each web application and in each web application you could only create, you could only enable the creating of sites within that web application. Uh, and also, um, you can only create classic team sites. I mean, it didn't say that, but that was all that's available. So here you can see your self-service site creation management page in SharePoint. This is SharePoint Server 2016. And um, you can see that you can create a team site under a certain path. Um, you can also use this if you wanted to allow them to generate their own my sites uh, as opposed to just pre-generating them, which is what a lot of organizations do. Um, but um, in any case, you could allow them to create team sites and create uh, specialized paths based on the username if you wanted to. But, um, but you know, you were limited to that site collection that you're in, or excuse me, that web application that you're in. So what about SharePoint Server uh, 2019? I've got a test environment set up here. And um, you can see here that we have our main home site. Uh, and then we have a what I'm calling people POC, which is the my site. And if we take a look at uh, here, let's just open a new window here. Um, we take a look at our test demo home site. It's, you know, of course, SharePoint Server 2019, you now have modern communication sites and team sites that you can make for your home pages uh, or for your uh, sites. So this particular site is uh, using a modern home page. Um, and just like in the cloud, you now have this link here called SharePoint, which takes you to uh, what they people call the SharePoint app. I'm going to click on it. Uh, you know, I haven't really done too much. So normally you would see all the sites I'm following uh, in here. Haven't done that. But what you can see is that there's a create site button. So this is how self-service site creation works. And, you know, if, if you've been working in SharePoint Online, you've probably used this. And it's pretty easy and straightforward to create modern sites in the cloud. Um, and uh, you can do the same thing here. So if I hit create site, um, I get these two choices. Um, by default, this is how it would be set up, and I can choose to create a team site or a communication site. But let's take a look at how it's configured before we go any further with this. Um, so if we go into um, the web application settings here, if I choose, you know, normally uh, I would look at the um, my site and I would say, okay, I'm going to allow people to create sites there, and I would hit self-service site creation, and uh, I can turn it on and show the create site command. And then uh, I can determine uh, whether it's gonna be a modern site or a classic site. So here's where you, you toggle between modern and classic basically. Um, and um, what's really new is I don't have to choose in the like I did in the old uh, 
SharePoint 2016 and earlier, I don't have to choose the same web, web application I, I'm in if I'm making modern sites. I can choose to either make it in People POC, or I can say, you know what, I'm going to make it in uh, another web application, which in this case is my main one, DVSP POC01, um, and that will allow people in their My Site, basically, to create sites in the home site, or you could create a special web application if you wanted to for people to make all of their self-service sites, which you know a lot of people have wanted to be able to have that kind of control, and now you can do that. Um, now, what's interesting is um, if I want to see um, what, it, it, sorry, let me take a step back. If I look at People POC and look at self-service site creation again, you'll notice that for my own site, I can choose, if I do choose People POC, I can choose whatever managed paths exist. But in uh, another site, I don't get to choose the managed path. And you may be wondering, why is that? Uh, and the answer is that that's determined within each web application. So in order for this to work, it actually you have to actually enable self-service site creation, of course, in the site where you want people to make sites. And you have to go into the self-service site creation of that site, like I'm doing right now. So now I'm looking at the self-service site creation for my home site, DVSVPOC01. And notice that what I did here is I had a second managed path called Teams. And this is where I select where they're going to be created. So now if someone goes to their my site, um, you saw there you didn't get to choose. That's because the choice gets made here. So if a user goes to their my site, like I basically just did. So let's take a step back and make a site. Um, if you notice, my URL here is people POC. So let me go through this one more time just to make it really clear. Um, notice here I'm at DVSP POC01, right? I'm going to click the SharePoint link. That's going to take me over my my site, basically, People POC. And here I'm going to hit Create Site. And now I can choose to make either a team site or a communication site. I'm going to choose a team site. And I'll call it uh, DLT Test Test 1. And um, notice that the path has been chosen for me, DVSPPOC01 slash team slash DLT Test 1. Uh, so I can't change that here. That was controlled by those settings we just looked at. And then I hit finish. And um, you do get very fast site provisioning for these sites. So this shouldn't take very long. Famous last words, but it should be here in a second. There it is. And so now I have my new site at dvspposc one slash teams. And I can use that same path for everyone. And if I had a special web application, as I said, for this purpose, I could put all of them in there. And um, so that's basically the big change with um, self-service site creation in SharePoint Server 2019. I hope that is uh, useful to you. And I'm going to be, uh, I've been really been digging into SharePoint Server 2019. So I'll probably be doing some more uh, five minute Fridays on it in the future. So please tune in every Friday at 1.30 at CDH. And uh, I'll have some more updates for you in the future. Thank you very much.